folks welcome back to software testing hacks in previous video we saw what is test plan in this video we will talk about how to write the test plan okay let's get started so basically here is the template we have considered to build this project test plan okay for example here it contains four different uh, sections i can say introduction test methodology test deliverables and then the resource and environment needs okay so it differs from one project to other project so first let's talk about the introduction in introduction section what things goes okay the test plan is designed to prescribe the scope approach resources and schedule of all testing activities of the project a b c this is an example okay plan identify the items to be tested the features to be tested and the types of testing to be performed and the personnel responsible for testing the resource and the schedule required to complete testing and the risk associated with the test plan so here it is a overall brief about what the project is about and what are the approach and then the resource all that can okay all that will be contained in this test plan here we will introduce what the project is about okay what things will uh, we can expect in this project why are this project okay those details will be put in here first is the scope okay what is the scope so here all the feature of abc bank which were defined in software requirements spec are need to be tested okay so this is the scope of the project okay here so um, so all the features needs to be tested as per the requirement that is the scope and for example it contains the test cases let's say okay so then how it those things needs to be listed right so what are all the features are there and it is in high level it is not like complete detailed test cases okay so this is will be performed uh, created in the early stages before the testing itself right for example uh, what is the different modules that is there in the project so for example balance inquiry fund transfer mini statement uh, customized statement change password and there are even more things that will be there okay and then what are the applicable roles okay and then the description it is just like uh, in a high level in a high level uh, for this module what is the functionality of that module in a high level for example here balance inquiry my it happens between manager and the customer let's say okay the customer can have multiple bank accounts he can view the balance of his accounts only okay so here the manager but how about the role of the manager a manager can view balance of all the customers who come under his supervision okay so this is how the particular module and then will uh, and then the roles who can access this particular feature and then what things they can be seen or it is defined okay so basically it is in high level or overall overview of what the project and how it looks like right so consider there are different modules as well we can write uh, as per the requirement also okay customized statement what happens when there is a customized statement so customer can see customized statement only if he owns his account whereas the manager can see customized statement for any of the account which comes under his supervision or based on the requirement okay so this is what brief introduction will contain let's say okay next we'll say what are the out of scope things these feature are not to be tested because they are not included in software requirement spec uh, spec is nothing but specification okay for example user interfaces hardware interfaces software interfaces suppose say that requires um, that doesn't require any uh, let's say accessibility testing okay so accessibility testing is out of scope we can say okay certain things needs to be tested okay okay database logical communications interfaces website security and performance so these are the different things that can be 
that might not be given importance to okay quality objective okay the uh, the test objectives are to verify the functionality of the abc bank the project should focus on testing the banking operations such as account management withdrawal and the balance etc to guarantee all the operations can work normally in real business uh, environment okay for so, uh, here we have taken an example of a banking project banking projects are very important because it includes it will be having uh it has to deal with real money right so it is very crucial crucial application okay because it contains the money of the customer uh, so for that all the basic needs of the customer should be working properly that needs to be that is the quality objective of this project so that you can talk about the quality objective in this section okay and next is the roles and responsibilities the project should use outsource outsource members as the tester to save the project cost depends depends completely okay from different project and then uh, how they have planned the project how the basic planning is okay so here let's say we have a test manager uh, manage the whole project and then he define the project direction acquire appropriate resources so this is his uh, uh, you know the role is the test manager is these are the responsibilities of the test manager and then the tester he involves in identifying and describing appropriate test techniques tools automation architecture verify and assess the test approaches uh, execute the test log results report the defects so these are the roles and responsibilities that we can say and Uh, it depends if you have even more roles and uh, you can and how much uh, uh, responsibility you can split among uh, among the resources you can split it okay and write it in this document and next is the test methodology okay here we can say um, test levels of overview is not there so we can leave it if you don't want to write it you can it, it is completely up to the um, project and then the Uh, it depends again integration testing so here individual software modules are combined and tested as a group so there there are different levels of testing that we have to performing level so we are considering integration testing and system testing user acceptance testing these all comes under testing levels right so here integration testing needs to be performed system testing conducted on a complete integrated system to evaluate the system compliance with its specified requirement okay api testing test all the apis and create for uh, apis create for the software under test it needs to be test okay um for example all the apis needs to be tested okay all these are the requirements these can be considered as part of the test plan basically gives the overall overview of um, what is the project about and what things are there what different modules are there and what types of testing will be performed on this application on this project basically so all the details in a one go the uh, anyone if he is from uh, business side okay if he is a stakeholder if he wants to get the idea of how the project is going on he can just look through this document and understand the um, reality of project okay and then the bug triage suspension criteria and resumption requirements if team members report that there are 40% of the test cases failed suspend testing until the development team fixes all the failed test cases okay so there is one another criteria for that test completeness specifies the criteria that denote a successful completion of the test phase okay when the test will be complete so it specifies the criteria when the successful completion of test phase run rate is mandatory to be 100% unless clear reason is given okay pass rate is 80% achieving the pass rate is mandatory 
So basically, all these are components. Yes, these are the different components that we consider test deliverables, test plan document, test case document, test design specification so these are all the test deliverables once you are ready with the test plan that is considered to be a deliverable so that other people can refer to it test case documentation so here we will get the picture on what all the things are needs to be tested and what all are executed so all this can be uh, reviewed as part of this test case document test design specification so he, this is also one of the test deliverable okay Test results or reports. Okay, once the testing is done, the results and reports, this also will become as a deliverable. So, it is because after everything is done, you uh, give the sign off, you will have to provide how much tests are passed, how much tests are failed, all that results that needs to be uh, seen, right? That needs to be as a proof, that will be considered as a proof. Test release notes. So, example. Uh, once after you release what features went and then what are the recent upgrades, all this, uh, that will be documented. This is one of the deliverable. Next is the resource and environment needs. Okay. So, what are the testing tools basically? Develop a test tool which can auto generate the test result to predefined form and automated test execution. So, for example, what testing tools that we are using? For example, if you are, uh, uh, you know, a framework, if you consider Selenium, if you are automating your application through Selenium, you can write what are the testing tools that you are using and uh, what are what is the different uh, integrations that you are doing. Okay, all that you can document. It depends on the project. And then, um, what, better to give a clear picture here. Okay, test environment. So, in test environment, it mentions the minimum hardware and software requirement that will be used to test the application. For example, what is the uh, software, what, what is the operating system that we are using? Okay, and then uh, what is the version? Uh, all this, these all things can also be documented and plays a crucial role because it gives the overview of the project okay so till now we saw that what are the different components that we can consider while writing the test plan and again i am mentioning you that it differs from one project to another project okay and what is the out of scope things and then what are the mandatory things that needs to be tested sometimes you know security testing needs to be done because this is a um, application is basically a banking application where the security is most important and some of the applications like e-commerce application where uh, performance testing matters a lot. So, make sure that the performance test works fine. All the different criteria that you can put and then what are the different types of testing that you are performing, what developers will test, what testers will test. It is up to you. This is just generally a, a general documentation that I can say. You can customize as per the need of the project. Okay. Hope uh, you learned different types or things that goes on with the test plan. If you have liked this video, please do like it, share it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.